Hi, and welcome to this class. This is the portfolio development documentation class. And it's a very exciting class uh, for us as a community of artists. And that's what we become in this class. Everybody who joins in has become part of this effort and really uh, joins you as an artist um, in your effort to uh, achieve some pretty significant uh, marks here. So there's two parts of this class. Um, the first part is the creation of a body of work. That's what we do in this class. It's the heart of the class. And the second part is documenting that work. So we document it. And the primary way that we're going to document this is by creating a website. So in terms of what does it mean to create a body of work, um, it's what you are already doing as an artist. You're making art. So a body of work is just a kind of building block in a professional artist's career. It's um, defined by what I think of it as is a group of pieces that hold together either visually and or conceptually. And so um, that creates a body of work. It might be a series or it just might be uh, works that just work well together in an exhibition. And that's the measure of the class. How much should you make enough to, to fill in a moderate sized exhibition? So the, the number of pieces you make will be dependent. I, I don't know what kind of work you're doing. So you might be making large scale paintings, in which case five might do it or 10 might do it or um, 15 or five large ones and a few small studies. So the work will determine um, if you're making uh, in, you know, discrete floor standing sculptures or pottery or um, like I have here, or um, you know, prints, each kind of work, photography, for example, might determine the quantity uh, depending on the scale that you're working in. So um, then the question, so you've got an idea of, um, you wanna think about, so if the semester is 17 weeks, how, how are you going to create an entire body of work? Well, it's kind of easy in a sense. If you decide, well, an exhibition of this kind of work would be about 20, 25 pieces. Well, then I divide 17 in that and I get, well, some weeks I'm going to make one piece and most weeks I'll make at least two pieces. Some weeks I can make three maybe, and that'll get me through. Um, so that's kind of giving you a sense of, you know, how to pace yourself and make sure you're keeping up with what's necessary. Um, then the idea is um, documentation, this building of a website. And a website is really the key to the visibility for a professional artist. If you're a professional artist, for people to find you, you have to at least have a website, perhaps presence on social media. So that's what we're gonna work on. Um, we're gonna be working together step by step, step. I should say this class is asynchronous. It's an asynchronous class, which means that you work at your own pace. Um, I want you to visit the class often. You go to the Canvas website and you click on the class and you can make progress through the class and I'll have it all worked out step by step. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get in, you're gonna visit the class and work through it at your own pace. Um, and what I like to say, uh, wait a second. I made you a cookie, Dad. You made me a cookie? Yes, I did, I was born. Can I see the cookie? Cookie looks like that. Ooh, that's a nice looking cookie, can I have it? All right, so this is kind of what the class is like. You're gonna just get surprises. It's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be a great class. That's a fine cookie. That's a great class. Um, so um, this idea of visiting, you wanna think about when you take an asynchronous class, this one or any other class, you want to, um, do it like you voted in, in the last election. You wanna vote early and you wanna vote often. So you wanna make sure you're getting to the class regularly and, um, and just consistently make progress through the class. So um, that's, uh, that's the idea. There are synchronous components and there are two of them. The first is optional office hours. Once a week, I will be available um, and I'll send out links and we can all come together as many as would like to come every week. You can ask questions. Uh, you can um, 
uh, talk about art, ideas, philosophy, um, inspiration. Uh, we, can, we can get an experience of the community that we are. Um, we can have some fun, some inspiration, as I say, and just kind of hang out like we have done in the past. It's a great way to get to know each other and it is kind of a cure for uh, COVID isolation feelings. So it's really nice to those office hours. The other thing I'm gonna do is set up with you some affinity groups, uh, affinity accountability groups. So I'll put um, you into groups of four or five and you'll meet uh, on a pace that you'll determine whether it's um, weekly or uh, most people decided on every two weeks and you set goals for yourself and you, you mention them to the community and the community uh, then when you meet next time they check in with you. How did you do on your uh, target? You were gonna make five pieces. How, how did this go and can I see them? So that's the uh, affinity group and those are gonna be um, Zoom based um, accountability groups. Um, so, um, that's um, that's pretty much a great description of this class, and um, it's it's really going to be unique. Uh, you make it unique. Every person, uh, the energy that they put in, creates the course, and uh, I think it'll be very inspiring. I really look forward to working with you, artist to artist. So, look forward to seeing you in those optional office hours. <laughs>